Hey everyone, welcome back to Key Arranger Workshop. In today's video, I will be removing the main board that holds the DDR SD RAM chips, the GPU processor chip, and a 32 gig SanDisk internal embedded flash drive. This is probably the most important board on your PA5X keyboard. If you ever have to replace it, it might cost you somewhere in 850 to $1,000. If you run into any boot up, memory, or video issues, I would recommend looking at this board first. To remove the heatsink, there are a total of four screws. Pay attention, the ones on the right are longer than the ones on the left. Next thing we're going to pull up carefully, there's a small adhesive that holds the heatsink to the GPU underneath. Now pull everything to the right, underneath the main ribbon cable that connects to your display. Next, we're going to pull up on the main board on the bottom right side because that's where the main connector is connecting to the other board below. This will minimize the stress on the main board. Now carefully move it to the left just enough that you can unclip the ribbon and there you go. And here's another look of that same board. I have to say the build quality on these boards is awesome. There's a total of six, maybe seven uh, board on your PA5X and it's all built by this one company in Ancona, Italy called GR Electronica. As you can see, every board has a quality sticker that starts with the GR. Now, this is what happens when you first boot up your PA5X. Everything's coming out of that 32 gig embedded flash drive and you get your operating system, you get your custom uh, sets and it's slowly feeding this uh, SD-ROM or DDRs that are one gig each. So there's a total of four gigs all together. Once that's done, then you go into your main screen, all your lights come on and that's pretty much what happens. All right, let's focus on installing that main board back into the PA5X. First thing I'm gonna do is connect that ribbon cable and then push that tab down. This way the ribbon cable stays locked. Slowly feed that board back in. And now I'm gonna push down on that bottom right corner, make sure it connects to the board below. There you go. Now your heat sink plate, we're going to feed it the same way back in carefully, not to damage that ribbon cable. And lightly press it down. Take the two larger screw and install those on the right side and two shorter ones on the left side. Also, once you're done with that, make sure you connect the USB cable. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video. Make sure you subscribe and hit the like button and see you soon.